PGA Tour lit up New York for the FedEx Cup playoffs this week. Literally, Matthew Wolf and Shane Lowry had the honors of lighting up the Empire State Building. And players couldn't get enough of the views from Liberty National, including Abraham Answer, who came into the week on the top 70 bubble and played his way into the BMW Championship. The views were postseason worthy, and the commute was even unusual, with some players riding the ferry from Manhattan past the Statue of Liberty to the course. They definitely teed off the postseason in style. We were in the fashion capital of the world after all, and some brought their A-game, including defending champ Bryson DeChambeau, who kicked off the Northern Trust with his skyline spikes. And Justin Rose broke out the plaid, the pants didn't protect the defending FedEx Cup champ from keeping Shank Week going, though. That is a hustle rocket. That's what you call that. Golf was hard at Liberty National. It's a horrific lie. Oh, my goodness. But the high winds were sometimes helpful. How gusty is it? Here you go. Troy Merritt, that's by the hole. Look at it. It is in the hole. I can't recall the last time I saw something like that. And the players even had a little fun with fans during the weather delays. But the one having the most fun, uh, that one. Patrick Reed's caddy Kessler was doing whatever it took to get his boss his seventh PGA Tour win. Up next on the leg two of the FedEx Cup playoffs at Medina outside of Chicago, players have to finish in the top 30 at the BMW Championship in order to move on to the season ending tour championship. You can catch it all on PGA Tour Live and also make sure to check out the takeaway starting Thursday.